Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I am very excited to show you some brand new Navy Chrome Excel belts. Over the last two years, belts have become very popular for us and we've been making some brown Chrome Excel, natural Chrome Excel, black Chrome Excel, and now we've got some brand new Navy Chrome Excel. And this is a really nice subtle blue shade. It's sort of, it's like an aqua blue, a little bit of green to it. Before we get into this, let's take a look at how we size the belts. And this is very critical. We have a lot of people that sometimes rush ahead and order their belt size just based off of whatever their jeans are. So the absolute best way to do this is to forget every number that you know and take off your current belt and measure it. You wanna measure from the pin of the buckle to whatever hole that you're using. And whatever measure that you get in inches, that's the size belt that you want to order. So typically our belts tend to be about two inches larger than your jean size. So for example, I wear a 34 inch jean and the belt that I wear is measured at 36 inches. If you measure at 37, you still might want to pick up a 36 inch belt because these belts can stretch about an inch depending on how tightly you wear your belt. And let's take a closer look here at the new Navy Chrome Excel belt. You can see as I shift it around, how much wax and oil is just tanned into this Chrome Excel? It almost has like a hazy sort of cloudy look on the surface. But you can see me track that wax with my finger here. You might be able to. That just means it's been tanned really nicely with a lot of oils and waxes. And that's something that you want to see on the Chrome Excel leather in particular. The navy here too, as I shift it around, you'll notice it's a little darker at this angle, right? And as I turn it and sort of shift it around, more of these blue tones appear. The other really interesting thing about Navy Chrome Excel is as I flex it, this is what was called the pull-up effect. So the undertones of the Chrome Excel leathers tend to be much lighter than the surface color. And again, that is because this Chrome Excel is tanned with an incredible amount of waxes, oils, and greases. We're mobilizing those waxes as we flex the leather. So you can see here, really great depth of color, nice aqua blue undertones with a little bit of a darker, more navy blue surface. And all of our belts have these really interesting teardrop shaped holes. This is sort of how the holes wear in naturally, which is why I like the shape of these holes. And I also think they look really neat. All of our belts come with antique brass hardware and this is solid brass with an antique brass finish and they're all online belts we get a lot of feedback on our belts explaining that these are the most comfortable belts that a lot of people have worn and i think that's because this is just one extra thick piece of nine ounce chrome excel leather which is actually really tough to get so we're really lucky to even be able to receive some of this heavyweight chrome excel and i'm so excited to be able to offer the navy color here it's one of my favorite chrome excel colors and something we have not done before so excited for you to check this one out and to accompany the navy chrome excel belts we've made some brand new key buddies this is our keychain belt clip also in that really beautiful navy chrome excel i actually wear one of these keychain belt clips every day i clip this side to my belt loops and then i attach my keys on this side you can actually do it the other way around by taking this snap off and you can wrap this over your belt and close it down and then keep your keys here. This is a multifunctional sort of variable way to use the key buddy. And in the brand new Navy Chrome Excel, this will give you a chance to check out this really nice shade of Chrome Excel. Also now available, this is a little bit more exclusive. We had a little bit of red chamois leather and chamois leather is an oiled nubuck from Horween. This is a grain side of the animal that has been napped down and sort of suede, and then they fill in that nap with a little bit of oil. It gives it a really luxurious feel. That's what an oiled nubuck is, and the chamois is Horween's version of an oiled nubuck. It's a pretty popular leather, actually. You see it a lot in Alden footwear for the reverse side, and they call it reverse chamois, and that's what this side is here. It's a little bit more nappy, a little bit more coarse and open. This is what most people would think of as a traditional suede on the flesh side of this leather, but the grain side here, still a little bit nappy, but much more of a fine nap on the red chamois. So we did make a couple of these key buddies here in the red chamois. These also have solid brass hardware. This is an antique brass finish. And on the ring that goes around the key buddy, this is actually a nickel ring with an antique brass finish. Like I said, we had a little bit left of the red chamois leather, which is a really vibrant, interesting leather. 
and I kind of wish we did more of this. The only problem that we had with this particular leather is it's thicker than most of the wallet weight leathers that we use. This is about six ounces thick, so it's really great for watch straps, something like the Key Buddy there, and for these valet trays, just a little bit too thick to make a wallet out of. And like I said, we had a little bit left, so we decided to make a couple special items. This is our valet tray, again, in that really vibrant red chamois, you can see the grain side of the leather. This is the part that's going to touch the table. And on the inside here, this is the flesh side, where all your stuff is gonna sit on top of. And we made a few of these XL valet trays also. There's only a couple of these available, and they're very similar to the other valet tray, the smaller one that's more square shape. But this one is much larger, it's a rectangular shape. This will fit an iPhone in it, it will fit a fat Herbie in it without having to have it sit up on the edge. So these are great for a little bit larger items. And again, you get this huge piece of red chamois, which is really special. And I've got a couple more special items on offer right now. This is our NATO watch strap in a 20 millimeter lug width. This is made in a leather that we haven't done a NATO on before. This is the English Tan Dublin. And it's a little bit of a thinner piece of Dublin. And we find that most people need a little bit thinner leather for the NATO straps. And that's because some watches have a very small clearance between the spring bars and the case of the watch. So sometimes thicker leather just won't fit between them. And we'd like to pick a slightly thinner leather for the NATO strap. So I do have a couple of these. I think we have three NATO watch bands, 20 millimeters in the English Tan Dublin. And speaking of English Tan Dublin, I also put up a couple irregular Apple watch bands in the English Tan Dublin. And these are irregular. You might notice sort of right away the color difference from left to right. We'd had a little bit of a mismatch of color. So this one's sort of the more red, darker range that English Tan tends to go. And this is the opposite end of the spectrum. A little bit lighter, a little bit more yellowy and tan on this side. So these are discounted as irregulars for that color mismatch. And speaking of irregulars, I have a really cool looking one-shot card case here. This is a black Shell Cordovan one-shot card case. And this one is hand-stitched with a red thread. Some of this hand stitching did not come out as cleanly as we liked, so we decided to discount it as an irregular. Here's another irregular wallet to show you. This is Whiskey Shell Cordovan on the Frank the Enforcer. It's a really nice piece of Whiskey Shell, although we can see a little bit of these blemishes. I think this is sort of melted in wax. It created some darker spots on this particular wallet but look how nice the luster is on this piece of shell cordovan. Super nice piece of shell. And this Frank the Enforcer in Whiskey Shell Cordovan, again, irregular. We've got it up on the sale page of the website for a slight discount. And I snuck up a few private stock wallets on the site yesterday. Let's look at this one here. This is a Bugs Moran in a variation that I don't think we've done more than a couple times. Take the normal Bugs Moran and add a card slot to the outside. So this is a sort of quick access card slot in the style of the Capone money clip. And we added that same one on the left side also. So you get two quick slots on the outside of this Bugs. And on the inside, it's the normal Bugs Moran. On the outside here, let's go back for a second. We've got raw shell cordovan. This is actually raw amaretto shell sitting on top of raw denim shell. So really great potential to develop some patina here. And on the inside, also great potential to develop patina. I really like the way reverse shell cordovan wears in. We did a couple of things on this wallet that make it extra special. So this is reverse blue shell cordovan. We've got a really nice Horween measuring machine stamp on the left here. And what was made special for this one is we cut these lower card slots with a continuous piece of shell cordovan right around the Horween ink stamp. So you get to see that stamp translate from left and go all the way to the right. And a couple more wallets that I sort of snuck up on the website yesterday. This is an all reverse black shell cordovan passport holder. And this has a really great contrast from left to right here. A little bit darker green on the bottom left here. And it sort of fades into like an olive tan up on the right here. And you get to see the delineation in the center. That is really neat. And a great whore weaning stamp cut right into the center. This is going to develop an incredible patina. Somebody uh, that travels with this one. I'm really excited to see how that one wears in. Check out the inside. You get a little bit darker green here, a little bit more forest green on the interior. And then we hid the Horween ink stamp underneath this card slot on the left. One more private stock wall to show you. This is also a passport holder in black shell cordovan, but this has some epic figuring on it. And I really wanted to show you this one on a video. Take a look at that. These little ripples in the texture 
that is really special and it was difficult for me to try to capture this in photos because it's it sort of shifts on you as you look at it at different angles it sort of comes and goes you might be able to see what i'm talking about here but at different angles you get more dramatic texture and figuring and these are not something that we can control nor can the tannery control so it's really special when we're able to find a nice shell especially in a large context like this you get to see all those little bits of ripples on the inside this is also black shell cordovan does not have the epic texture on the inside all right here's a fun story this week i received an email from a customer saying that he met a friend through leather and they wanted to make matching wallets sort of buddy wallets and uh, I think they may have met on the Ashland Leather Patina Masters Facebook group. And if you're not familiar with that group, I highly encourage you to check it out because it shows a lot of people's wear and patina development on their different wallets. It includes some non-Ashland stuff too. I just love seeing how leather wears in. So definitely check out the Patina Masters group if you haven't yet. This particular customer, they were looking to make a matching pair of Capones on raw amaretto. And this is the raw amaretto shell that I showed them a picture of. He was looking for as much figuring and character in the leather as possible. The raw amaretos that we have do not have much figuring like we looked at in that black, epic black textured shell. But we do see a little bit here on the left. It's not much and it's not near as close to as epic as that black shell was, but I love raw amaretto shell. I love all the raw shells because of how nicely they develop. And I like to see how stuff changes. So this, you can see, raw shell cordovan starts off very much a matte finish. Does not have much luster to it at all. But as this wears in, you can start to expect it to wear in just like a normal piece of shell. And it polishes itself in your pocket. So you'll develop this nice glassy surface over the top. And something about that, just experiencing it and sort of making it your own style is really, really special. And these friends also asked me if I could show them some Epic Natural. So I did have a piece of Epic Natural here. I picked this one for the guys because they wanted it cut from the same piece of leather. And this is one of the only larger pieces of shell that I have that has this sort of Epic texture on the inside center right here. I do have more natural shells with more epic texture than this, but I was kind of figuring these guys wanted it cut from the same piece of leather, which is a great story. And, and this is sort of the only large one I have that we can cut everything from the same piece. So thanks for checking out everything in the video today. Hopefully you guys are able to pick up one of these Navy Chrome Excel belts. I'm so excited about these, just a really beautiful shade. If you have any questions on sizing, please, please, please don't hesitate to let me know. We get a lot of returns for sizing issues. So I'd rather get it right on the first time instead of making UPS more rich. Uh, let's just get you the right size the first time. Definitely let me know if you have any questions. All right, thanks again. Hope you have a great weekend and take care.